in order to get us out of training union one Sunday night when there was snow on the ground and not many people, the preacher had to leave the podium and go down there and wake up some old man to pray us out of church rather than let a woman pray in front of people. Women could not be deacons, could not be pastors, could not even pray in front of the rest of the congregation. An awful thing for somebody who's supposed to love everyone to do to people, to make a second class, or to try to make a second class citizen. When I went to high school, they offered home ec when they offered science and math. Well, I didn't want home ec. I wanted science and math. I had to fight. I had to fight that battle to say no. I don't want that. I want my advanced science and I want my advanced math. And I got it. But you know what? When it came when I was a senior, they said all senior girls have to take this Betty Crocker exam. I said, I don't want to take Betty Crocker's exam. I don't cook. I don't sew. I don't do any of that stuff. And they said, you have to take it. Guess who won the Betty Crocker Award? My science and math did it for me, folks. I married, married very young at 18, thought I was getting out of the place where people were biased against women, only to find out that in fact it was everywhere, that it permeated our society. I had a child at 19, I graduated from college in three years and started teaching school when I was 19 years old to some kids that were older than I was. I taught school two years while my husband finished and then we had to find a place where there were two English openings. And so we met with a superintendent down in southeast Missouri in a small town called Portageville. Don't know if you've ever heard of it. I went in first, to, you had, there was no salary schedule. I went in first to meet with the superintendent. And he looked through my credentials and he said, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he said, so this coming year you're gonna make uh, $3,200. Well, that was a couple hundred more than I made the year before. So I said, okay, that's fine. Walked out. My husband went in. Now, this is his first year to teach, not third. He has no hours toward his master's. He goes in, talks to the superintendent, and then we start out the door. And I turn around to him and I say, so how much money are you going to make? And he said, $3,400. I said, what? He said, $3,400. I said, you know what? I bet he picked up the wrong folder. I bet he thought that you were the one with two years experience and 12 years towards your master's. And I turned around and went running back into the superintendent's office and the secretary's all aghast. And, uh, she, and I, she's tried to stop me and I said, no, 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 I gotta talk to him. And I went in and started to say, I said, you know what, I think you made a mistake. I think you switched our folders. And he stood up and banged his fist on the desk. And he said, as long as I am superintendent of these schools, there will never be a wife who makes as much as her husband. Do we need salary schedules? You bet. And they're trying to take them away. I'm, OK, I'm going to tell you a little, no, one more story. I tried to get a credit card. I had two years of work, a good job. My husband had nothing. Just got out of college. Sears would not give me a credit card. They issued it to him. I wanted to get my tubes tied in 1970 after having three children. Guess who had to sign my permission slip? My husband, not me. I did not own my body, he did. Folks, there's a lot of history we never want to go back and repeat. Learn these lessons and learn them well. If we don't talk to our children, our grandchildren, our sisters, and everyone else, all the people in college, we will be back where we were before. We cannot do that. We are woman and hear us roar, roar, roar. There's our sign. Thank you so much, everybody.